Okay, hey there. What's up? John Sensei, aka John Gale. Japanese language instructor, game designer, Nashville, Tennessee. Coming back to work for Ludum Dare. Game Jam. From a bit of a break, had a bit of a problem before I left what I was working on. I'll recreate the problem and then show you how I fixed it by deleting how I fixed it. So the problem was in this life game called Sky Blue that uh, when the game is over, go to full screen. Let me go to full screen. Okay, so player only has 100 HP, and uh, moving into an apartment costs 100 HP. So let me put here. Okay. So yeah, we'll move into the apartment, which cost 100 HP, which kills the player, and that was the game over sequence, but then it jumped back up to where the landlady moved out of the way. Uh, the problem was the landlady moving out of the way happened after the game over sequence, and then it like went back to her moving out of the way, even though the game over sequence is happening down in the middle of the map. All very complicated. I was trying to research ways to break an event or exit event processing for like all events on the map except this one I couldn't really figure that out so the workaround I have is that if the player's HP goes below one uh, then first what we're going to do is we're going to wait 180 frames which is like three seconds which should allow all the events in the game to run so we do that same thing, rent this apartment. That sequence is completed. Player tries to move, but oh, boom, it's game over. Looks like I wasn't able to survive my new life for even 12 months. Yeah, I should play the game again. And then we go back to the beginning. And if I'm going to do anything about this opening artwork, I'm going to need to collaborate with an artist. So that's not very pretty, but it was better than what we had. The problem we're going to run into, let's say we're in the office, and uh, we've only got 100 HP. Why does month equal zero? Month should never ever equal zero, because I've never gone to the outside map, never mind. Fine, okay. Oh, 50 HP. Never mind. The better test scenario for this, and that's in the school. But that warns me. Okay, we only have 100 HP. We're going to start this job. We can still work the job. Ah, oh, that's really bad. Okay. Okay. Bat, bat, boo, 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 boo. I have to do what I did not want to do. Because it's going to be really resource heavy. But like I said at the end of my last video, I don't care anymore. Can't really care. I'm putting this parallel event that's checking the player's HP anywhere they are ever drops below one in the game. Let's go back to our school scenario and test it again. Okay, so we're going to start working at the school. And three seconds. Ah, snap. Well, that was weird. Like, the hell did that have to do with anything? Hmm. 
I'm gonna see that again. Alright, I'm not gonna move like I did last time. Last time I moved those three seconds. What is this? What is this about? Uh, owl. F. Fuck. Sorry. Seriously? If the player's HP goes below 1, wait 180 frames, which is 3 seconds, wait 3 seconds, and then run the event Lose Game. Within Lose Game, we transfer the player... <laughs> there it is. That's exactly the problem. We need to change... I still don't get why he stood there. Let's see what happens here. Logic's still not making sense. Okay, I'm going to change this wait time, but wait three seconds. Okay, there he is laying down. He can still move, which is stupid. Okay, so if there's no fade out, then the fade in looks really dumb. The fade in looks really dumb. It'll fade in even if there's not a fade out. Okay, that's something I didn't know. The question is like... Yeah. Like, let's count this. Why can't it just work? One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, one. Yeah, that's weird. I know why he disappeared because I faced up and there is no up facing. It changed the actor. And that fade out I saw was on the the fade out I saw was on the player transfer. Okay, talk it through again. Here's what's happening: the player's HP goes below one. It waits three seconds, then run, lose game. Okay, no need to check those. That's just the problems in and lose game. <clears throat> So I think there should have been a moment in the school when we saw John, who is me, like after this conversation, he should go face down in three seconds, like before he transfers. Okay, he just, he just disappeared. He transferred. There's a fade in. This, this like three seconds right here is abnormal. 
There is nothing that should be doing that. There is a 30 frame wait. Change the actor image. Transfer the player. That's fine. Here's an idea. No. That'll F it up if we're outside. Let me see. What's that fa what's that all? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that did mess that up. I do want to fade to black. All right, let's count this. We're going to count how long he lays there, and if I can move around while he's laying on the ground. Okay, we can move around here. Yeah, I was, I'm doing that again. I don't need to exit. I don't need to exit. Start over. Oh, nope, he's moving. That is so effing weird. Why does that take so long? There's like two lines of code here. <clears throat> Taking like two and a half seconds to run. I get telling him to wait 30 frames here, but he's not able to move during those 30 frames, during that half second. That's why it's two and a half seconds. This whole thing is taking like three seconds to run, and a half second of that he cannot move because that's the wait command, and then we have this text. I want it to fade in and wait so you can see him laying on the ground for like half a second and then the text will start. So to see him laying on the ground we have to change the actor image first. I mean this, this shouldn't. See what happens if he moves into the apartment. I did not change that. Where is that transfer coming from? It's like there's a transfer before the transfer to here. I have to check that. Did I do that in the parallel event? Uh, no. Why are there two transfers?
there is one transfer fades to black down in the center of the map. I think I thought of it. This is going to be stupid. Uh, nope. I fixed that. We are outside. The month should be month one. It is month one. Nope, that's not the problem. Okay. Move. Okay, there were not two transfers in that case. But he still had time to move. He had enough time to move, which is telling me the transfer and the actor change literally is taking like two seconds to run. And it, it shouldn't. Like, the thing should be done in, in like a frame. Not supposed to do that. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the supposed to. Check this out. If I go in the house. This is the double transfer. And I get why there's two transfers. There's like the transfer from the outside map. map. Yep, that's it. Mm -hmm. There is a transfer happening from the outside map. And then there's a transfer happening from the inside map. That's what that's all about. One one thousand, two one thousand. It seemed to happen a little quicker. That's still a problem. He's able to move like a whole three squares. I have to, I have to see something. I'm gonna change it just for testing purposes. I'm seeing he's getting about two seconds out of it. In theory, he's not supposed to be able to move during a wait. Theory communism. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Okay. Player is able to move during a wait. That that should not be possible.
is VX Ace. Unless the event is set to parallel process, the wait command is actually supposed to freeze the player. Nah, nah. Okay. Now this is why I said parallel events get nasty. A different idea. And this was kind of the original idea I had for the game. This is what I was going to do. As a stretch goal if I had time for narrative purposes. Need a new map, something nice, something where someone can go to reflect. The, you know, the coast, the cliff. Mm -hmm. Kind of in the mood. These are all insides. I want to listen to some Back in Taken Back Sunday. That's some hate yourself music right there. Got a park. Got a harbor. Street not stand for have a floating city if you really wanted to reflect. We won't stand for a yeah, and caves and castles. The Hall of Transference, huh? Mm. Oh, there's like a there's a waterfall forest. It's a huge map. I don't need seacoast. Here we go. Not exactly what I wanted. Okay. Sea coast. Base ghost. Coast to coast. Please don't. Oh, God, stop that. Sounds a little more violent than I'd like, but let's do this. Okay. Now only have the one parallel event. We are not going to wait any amount of time. He'll still be able to move, though. He'll still be able to move. Where was I even testing? Alright, that was weird. 
Not fading back in. Did I delete the fade in? Did I delete the fade in out of spite? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Well... Did I fade the game out out of spite? Let's see what happens again. Okay, I don't see... I don't see any text. The HUD came back. Quick question. Plugin command. Eh. Not there's a way just to control plugin. Ah, oh, you effing moderators. You're like the hammer of Thor on these poor people. Uh-huh.
somber moment. But been deep in thought. Got a lot of problems. Don't know what's going on with the fading in and the fading out. But I I thought the the HUD, the HUD that tells you what month it is and your HP. I thought that was a problem and I was trying to see if I could get rid of it in game. And the answer is no. Uh, and then let's go back. All right, let's go back to the go back to the real problem. Real problem at hand is this. Okay, whenever you get the uh, game over, win or lose, that you're gonna go to this ocean scene. No wait time, nothing like that. It does not fade back in. It does not fade back. The game is frozen. We're at the ocean map because we can hear the sound effect. There is no text. Let me see. Let me just keep hitting enter, and if the game resets, that means I cycled through the uh, ending text. And there's only like three or four lines, so that would have happened already. So the game is, is frozen for some reason. The game is locked up. Why? Let's... Like there just might be some... Get rid of this fade in. Because you've already got a fade out and a fade in associated with the transfer. And again, everything tells me this should happen first. So, going back to the changes I made on the map, when the player's HP drops below 1, we kick in the lose game event, which is right here. Lose game is going to change the actor image to the damage image, old boy laying on his face. Then we're going to transfer the player to the seacoast, facing down. There's no fade in. We wait 30 frames. As the hope is, we see him laying on his face for 30 frames and realize he got his butt kicked by life. And what I'm worried about is because this is a parallel event, that... that even during that half second, that 30 frames, the player will be able to move. Is there a way under set movement route to just say stop? There's wait and wait for completion. There might be a workaround. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's only change, follow a scientific method and only change one thing at a time. It's the exact same.
quiet, somber moments. This is no my nerves. Same problem, something's wrong with the seacoast. There are no events in the seacoast. Another test. You ever wanted to go to the beach? Test. Something has effed up. The game's frozen. I'm not even ending the game. All it did... Think about this. All it did was transfer the player to the seacoast. I have some hypotheses for why this is freezing up, but those hypotheses would not be explained by the fact that it used to kind of work when I was transferring the player to the middle of town. Like if the transferring the player to the middle of town, the problem was is that he could move during a wait scenario. So why? I really don't get this. I didn't even mean to do that, but I will. All right, now we're telling the player to wait for 30 frames instead of just telling the game to wait 30 frames. 
Because it's a parallel event, the player can move during those 30 frames. But if we're telling the player specifically, hey, you, wait 30 frames, No, it's still the seacoast, and the seacoast is the problem. I put him here to do a test, see if he can run. We're going to have the old problem that the camera will focus on the landlady. Give that a three second wait, which introduces a lot of other problems. Nope. Not how we're going to do it. I'm going to try the same trick. Oh, what is this bullshit? The same problem. That's even worse. This was essentially the same logic except the exit event processing. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's uh, maybe that was the problem. Maybe that froze the game. Oh, no, no, that worked. Try it again. Okay, we have fixed the problem of the player being able to move while he was knocked on the ground. This has eaten a lot of time. Check one, two. Okay. One, two. <laughs> He's still able to move. Now oh, wait a gosh darn minute, why isn't this doing anything? Okay. Here's my final proposal for what happened. The problem with the seacoast is we have removed the player from the parallel event. And the parallel event is what's running the lose game script. Yeah, that's the problem. 
So, couple of ways around this. The seacoast map can fix the problems that happen within the city, like with the land ladies still moving and stuff, and the camera going back to them. But we need to switch things around, and I need to take a break. This is just going to be a quick break. I'll be right back. While I clear my head, think about some things. Tech one, two, coming back at ya. Okay. Had to go rock a piss and think about this. So, let me get my equivalent of cigarettes, which are Altoids. And we'll talk about what's going to happen here. This parallel event. All it's going to do is the moment the player's HP drops below 1. All we're going to do is transfer the player to the sea coast. Base ghost, coast, coast. That's all it's going to do. See if that works. Things have not been working as we planned, so let's just see if this works. Oh my god. Alright. That was that was supposed to be the solution. Try that.
Mm -mm. All right, now, now I'm just wrong. Now I don't know. I don't know. How do you spell parallel? I don't even need it to keep transferring, I just need it to stop. Kill it with a self switch. I had a parallel event in my last game to end it. I kill that with a self switch. What are you waiting for? Trying to take away the transfer. No. didn't even do the transfer it just killed itself come on can't get back from the sea coast I know that's not the problem parallel event and I said they're tricky and we are just here to learn. We have a parallel event. If the player's HP ever goes below one, transfer the player to the seacoast. Go back to what we were doing. Keep getting to move him back.
Transfer to the archive. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I know what I did. I effed up. I effed up. I don't get why it didn't just skip that page and and I keep forgetting the moving move to the player's starting position. Well, this is progress in a way. Parallel event has frozen the game. We try this, but know anything about syntax this would also do nothing this would do nothing the parallel event would just kill itself before it uh we have to figure it now Nothing should happen. Why do you get transferred? This is hysterical. This is hysterical. Something's wrong. Something's deadly, deadly, deadly wrong here. That ocean sound effect is plain. I don't think you can hear it. He is in the city map. The ocean sound effect is playing. The player was never transferred. Unless... I never expected the player to be transferred. Because the parallel event should have killed itself before then. What if it was like in the process of transferring the player to the seacoast and that to load the map of the seacoast you had the the program had to run a set order of actions the first one of those being play the background sound effect which is the ocean which I can hear playing on the city map so it got that far it got to play the background sound effect but it didn't go through all its executions of transferring the player and so just left the player in the city map even though the ocean actually played. Where's my Google? Let's see. So. Never expected this to work. I never expected it to transfer the player. The fact that it played the seacoast sound effect is interesting. So, we transfer the player, and we let the event wait, sure, 60 frames a second, then turn on the self-switch to kill it. I want to say if this parallel event is dead, it should stop hanging up the game, but I think that even happened before. So our logic is the player's HP drops below one. When that happens, we transfer the player to the seacoast. We wait 60 frames and then we kill the parallel event. I 
I mean, what do I have to do? What, what do I? I'm just, I'm just throwing pasta on the walls at this point. Oh, wait a second. Same result. Wait a very noticeable three seconds. And we've got to make sure it's self switch. Self switch is on. Check for self switch A. Turn on self switch A. If self switch A is on, that should be dead. Do nothing. Do nothing. Player's HP goes below one. Transfer the player to the C coast. Wait three seconds. Turn on the self switch, which then should flip to this page. She does nothing. Does nothing. Don't give an F anymore. I mean, this is kind of the point of game jams is to go through these types of exercises and learn the ins and outs of the tools. I was actually like during my break earlier today, I said in my first video today, I'm not going to finish and like F it. I'm just effing around now. But then I was like, well, I got, I got this logic going for the jobs and the apartments. Maybe I can finish something. And now here I am again. I'm like defeated. I didn't even count the time. Too busy talking. Too busy yapping. Too busy complaining. Why didn't make any progress? I need to count this. Four one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Maybe, maybe quite. Maybe it gives you three seconds. I don't know. The point is, it doesn't fix. Leaving the camera on to show them. If player's HP drops below zero control switches, we're going to have a new switch called Lose. Why? Turn that on. Okay, I got to stand up. Uh. Turn on a switch, game over. All right, the game is over. I lost. Kill this event. All right, kill this event. I have a little test event. Test. Over. Some water. Make it look like a slime. There we go. Same characters. Action. How about he's only activated. The game is over. That'll be a good test. He's only activated. Transfer. The seat. Racing. All right. We'll walk through the logic. We got this slime here. The slime is only activated. Game over lose is on or true. And if the player talks to the slime after the game is over, he'll be transferred to the seacoast. The parallel event is only checking if. 
player's HP drops below one, it turns on the switch, game over, lose, and then if game over, lose is true, this event then changes to this action button trigger. It means it stops, it's not parallel, and it don't do nothing. So it's dead, okay? We're gonna test this. We're gonna talk to the landlady. I'm gonna say how this is gonna work. Talk to the lady, landlady, lose the 100 HP. When we come back from that, the slime's not there. See that, he's not in this screen. So the slime is not in the game. When we come back from the fade in, I saw him. I saw him before it even faded out, okay? Saw it before it even faded out. And transferred to the seacoast. And it didn't freeze. Now. I have to check something. I have to check an old project. I have to check my global game jam project because what I've been trying to do this whole time is the exact same thing essentially I did for the global game jam. I have parallel event running that if the ingredients the player collected is greater than or equal to two. It shows the text, turns on the self switch, and kills itself. And that worked. I don't have to test it. I already tested this game thoroughly. Over here, there is a parallel event that is constantly checking if the number of roommates destroyed is greater than or equal to 3. If it is, it waits 60 frames. John has a text, and then it unlocks a door, and then it kills itself with a self switch. So it is not transferring the player. The problem is transferring the player. Unlock a door, show some text, and then kill itself, that's fine. It's transferring the player, the problem. I have an idea, it's not gonna fix it, but we have to try something. Like you have to fail a hundred times to get it working. You get it working the one time, and a big part of this is just getting the hundred failures out of the way. All right, so now we have a condition. We have tested it. Parallel event now simply turns on a switch called Game Over. Lose. A little slime shows up. What we need, though, oh wait, if Game Over is ever true to transfer the player to the seacoast or run some sort of ending sequence. I don't care if it's in the middle of town. I do care if it's in the middle of town because we got other problems. So the idea is not going to work. Like you have another Parallel event. Not an auto run because we can be in the same map. An auto run only runs when you enter the map. You know what? Here we go. This event only exists if game over equals true. Game over lose, lose equals true. This is not going to work. 
We do have to do it to get the failure out. Essentially trying to do the same thing I did with the slime who was here. There's our slime. We transferred and we're frozen. So it did do the transfer. Oh. Same same problem we've been having. Now uh, transfer the player and then we kill this event with a self switch make a new page self switch A of the characters and it does nothing transfer the player turn on the self switch and kill yourself the question is do we transfer the player before the self switch and the killing of the self it's activated and therefore we've kind of like transferred but we're also still kind of running this parallel event all right same problem question what happens if we change that to an auto run My theory is no transfer. Slime will show up, but we'll just come back to the map. Ah ho! We're getting there. Oh shit. It looked sloppy. But it worked. There's a delay. All right. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's still set up. That's still set up how I want it to go. Computer's getting hot, it's not responding. Performance is taking a little bit of dive. I'll have to cool it down here in a second. I look sloppy, but we'll deal with that. Okay. That's the ending I wanted. Now. Oh, getting there. We're getting there. All right, talk it out. I don't need the slime anymore. There's this delay. There's a delay, and I don't, again, it's like a second or so. There's a wait. 
There's a half second wait. For her to move out of the way. I don't want to F with the landlords because they're working. Do not want to mess with the landlords because they are already working. Walk through the logic. There's a parallel event. It's always checking if the HP is less than 1 or equal to 1. If less than 1 turns on game over lose switch, which would kill this event. It would kill one event, however it would give birth to this event, the condition game over lose on is an auto run event so that when it comes alive, it auto runs common event lose game. And that, that happened properly over on the seacoast. And then this kills itself with a self switch. I Question is give one of my one of my cigarettes. Why does that take so long? It takes like a whole fucking second. It takes like a whole second for one event to die and another to be born and then to do its thing. And that's enough time for the landlady to move and all that. We need to check when the HP gets lowered. When the HP gets lowered before the fade out. The HP gets lowered before the landlady moves. The HP gets lowered. The parallel event knows it's below 1. Gives birth to the auto run event. But in the time that happens, so does all this shit. This was what I wanted to do anyway. Here's the logic. Right here, player's HP decreases. Parallel event picks up on that, which turns game over to on. When game over is on, that gives birth to the auto run event, who's going to run the end of the game, but also kill the landlady event. Would it kill it in the middle of this stuff running? Doubt it. We're going to see what happens. He disappeared. Came back. In a way, it worked. She didn't move. She didn't wait. The 
This is going to be tedious to have to add game over to everything, though. Well, huh? How about that? That froze the game. All right, at least we're back where we were. Command T, you don't know what that shortcut does. Nope. Nope. I mean, the fade in, fade outs are stepping on top of each other. Even if, if this parallel event called a fade out, and then the transfer player called a fade out, but the transfer player calls a fade in before the auto run kicks in to transfer the player again to the Seacoast.
Wait, wait. I'll I'll be honest, I wasn't attention. Maybe getting there. It's not really registering what's happening. It's not really registering what's happening. Walk it through. You like to move into this apartment? Yes. Here's the keys. When I hit the enter key, it's going to take the 100 HP away. Hmm. I have done it. That may have to be it. I don't, I don't believe. Talk through why that works. Take away the HP. You wait 30 frames. Maybe within that time, the parallel and the auto run have their time to do their thing. Or it gives enough time to process that game over is on and then it'll hit this command check that if game over lose is on then you get out of there with the event which then lets parallel and auto run do their thing this actually happens much more quickly than i'd expect now the question is The landladies as an experience was already working well. All the weights and everything. Putting back to the default HP of 500. Let's see what this is. Yeah, I didn't feel that took too long. I don't think I've ever tested this aspect of trying to move into another apartment. I'm going to have to ice the computer here in a minute. Mm, I guess it's just jobs. She doesn't have... Fuck. I'm, I'm not even concentrating anymore. The only thing I wanted to test that time around was... It's like a total one second wait. Maybe. So then we divide it, precious. And we hope the computer still has time to do what it needs to do. So the 30 frame half second wait was preferable under a normal circumstance, like this, moving into an apartment.
felt like that took a lot. Which could be the performance issues with the computer. All right, now let's see if that gave enough time for the whatchamacallit to execute. Game over. Ah, needs more than fifteen frames. We're talking frames. We're talking nothing. We're talking. Well, I guess we're talking a quarter of a second. It's still. It's an like I could increase this to 20 frames and it's not going to make a difference. It's time humans can comprehend. So here's the compromise that needed 30 seconds or 30 frames to process. Why does this need a wait? This only needs a wait. Fuck it out. This is waiting a half second before fading out the screen. This is waiting some time while the screen is still faded out. Make sure that all that shit runs. So, that wait has to stop. And we're just going to have to compromise. It's like going to be a one, almost a one second rate. 75% of a second, three quarters of a second. There we go. It's, going to be, it's still going to be three quarter of a second wait. This is like too long, but it can't be helped. Like, this is what has to be done for the game to even fack and run. And yeah, by it is having performance issues. Computer's too fackin' hot. No return to the city, just go to the coast. There we go, there we go. Okay. All right, Ivanka holds the key. Making that work. Need to make a move. Mm -hmm. These are technically done. How do you spell parallel? Okay, I'm making a note because computer's getting hot. I need a break. That was exhausting. I'm just giving myself a to-do list so that when I come back I know what exactly needs to be done to get that logic working through all maps on the game. So here was the lesson learned in RPG Maker that transferring a player in a parallel event or trying to have some other, well yeah, transferring a player in a parallel event and then even have some other stuff running after that 
is a problem. Transferring a player in a parallel event is a problem. The solution was the parallel event is constantly checking the player's HP. If the player's HP drops to one or below, that just turns on a switch that says game over. Within the same map, this is a parallel event, and then that uh, that switch, that game over switch, then kills the parallel event. Kills it. Takes it to another page, makes it do nothing. Turning on the game over switch gives birth to this auto run event, which is not even alive, not even active, unless game over is true. Game over is on. It's an auto run event. It's going to run the lose game sequence and then kill itself with a self switch. So that was how we transferred the player. The lose game sequence includes the player transfer. So that's how we that's how we do it. Do not transfer the player in a parallel event. That's the lesson. I need a good break right now. May come back tonight. Definitely have to shut the computer down. It's burning up and affecting performance. If there was anyone watching this hour and 40 minutes, uh, debacle, thank you very much. You probably think I'm an idiot. That's fine. That's fine. What I've been doing in this video, like the struggles I've been having are real. This is how it is. This is what all of us in Nash Game Dev struggle with on pretty much every project and every game jam that we do. Nothing fake here. It's all real. No matter what your skill level, this is what's going to happen. So, but that's exactly what I had to do. I have a video record of it. I had to find the 100 ways that did not work. That's it. It's the Thomas Edison quote. Or supposedly Thomas Edison. There's no historical record of him actually saying it. It's someone who used to work for him said he said it. And then it got picked up, but it was the, you know, I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that did not work, or I found 10,000 ways how to not invent a light bulb. That is exactly what has happened here tonight. Okay, enough of that foolishness. Need a break. Get off of here. Everybody keep doing your best for Let Em Dare. We've got a day left. Keep up the good work.